Welcome Capricorn to your end of the month reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, find your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Yes, message for Capricorn, please. Energy surrounding them. And one more. There it is. How about the Five of Pentacles? Ooh. Being like kind of being left out in the cold, having some kind of loss, feeling rejected, um, not feeling, maybe not even just feeling good all the way around. Um, having some kind of detachment. Someone might be leaving you behind. You feel like you're kind of left behind. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Let's see what's going on here. Getting straight into it. One second. Clarifying card. Not only does this clarify on the Five of Pentacles, but the entire reading. You have the dreams and decisions. So it's kind of like feeling like you have a loss um, or some kind of rejection and or detachment. Somebody, maybe they feel like you're, there's no connection and you feel alone. That's really what it feels like. It feels like it's a loss, but it also feels like some kind of detachment where you're feeling like you're not connecting with this, with this situation, with this person. Um, and you're making decisions. There's a lot of decisions and decisions need to be made at this time. You might even have daydreams um, of fixing the situation or finding someplace better or something of this nature. Um, <clears throat> but it does feel like they have rejected you in some ways or having some kind of loss to the point where you're trying to make a decision on what to do next. Decisions need to be made. Getting straight into the situation, the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past and near future. Reach out. Love abounds upside down. We're leaving them upside down and getting out of the cage that you feel like you're in, any kind of chaos, overwhelming situation, some place where it feels like you're stuck. Um, could be mind over matter, getting away from your mind over matter, getting what into what matters instead of just your mind. Love abounds over here is in reverse. It is talking about, well, what felt like there was love. It's because you're out in the cold. This is what got you out into the cold. It feels like in the past, there was, there was this open relationship, right? There was potential. There were achievements going on. You had the ace. This is the ace of cups. There was a lot of love. Now, it's just this relationship is just making you feel like either you're drowning, left out in the cold, wasting your time, the cup is spilled. The water is, is out. Wherever the, the heart was, it's no longer there. There's no more trust. With the Ace, with the ace of Cups, there's a lot of trust. So this could be mistrusting, not knowing where it's going. Take it how it resonates. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it feels like there's a loss. A loss of love and there's the loss again feeling like it's out of touch no connection holding tight to trying it's like you're trying to take control it really does feel like it that way. You're trying to take control and not allow it to mess with your energy so much in the past. In the past, you were still trying to take control of the passion, trying to take control of the relationship. 
Try not to let it affect you. It's like you were trying to move past it. Not completely letting it go. But it just feels like it didn't work. It just didn't work. Trying to think about how you're going to keep this person that you adore. This person that you feel is the best for you at that time. Logically thinking on how this is going to work. How you're going to get this, yeah, this love to go back to fulfilling the cups. This is a person that you love and adore. And it's like you're trying to fix the relationship to get it back to where it was in the past. But they just, it keeps doing the same thing over and over. And it just feels like everything you do, they reject it or something like this, right? They leave you out in the cold one way or another. It's not working. So right now, you have the reach out with the decision making. The reach out is the three of pinnacles. You know, but it's it's a little bit different, right? It's like you're trying to get noticed. You're the more you try to reach out, it just feels like you're out in the cold. You're trying to reach out. I want you to notice me. I want this to work. I want to fix this. Trying to prepare yourself for the next level, making the decisions, preparing for the whatever's to come. Who knows what's going to come, right? Graciously trying to do things to fix this, reaching out, wanting them to reach out to you, maybe because they keep rejecting you, but you see the weakness within the relationship, you know, trying to feel the hope, there's the, that recognition again. Hoping that they will recognize you for the ace, for the ten of coins, trying to get the achievement, trying to fix this, trying to turn the, the weakness of the relationship around. Um, Capricorn card again, of uh, three of pinnacles is a Capricorn card, so it's saying, yeah, well, you know, in my energy, I want you to recognize what I'm doing for you. I want you to recognize how I'm trying to fix this. I want you to recognize my daydreams. I want you to recognize my decisions and maybe that's all it's about maybe they're just not recognizing your dreams your decisions the way you're trying to fix the relationship take it how it resonates they just don't see it your way this clouds it feels like they have you have a clouded vision at this time and you're not feeling is your vitality is low you're not feeling very good but it also feels like they even have a clouded vision of what you're trying to do they're like not seeing it your way like you trying to fix all of this, licking your wounds, walking on your cane, trying to make the best decisions for the situation at hand. Yeah. Trying to reach out to let them. It's just like you're trying your hardest over here for them to see it your way. They're not seeing it. You know, they're definitely not seeing it. High priestess upside down. They don't have any for. They, they don't even have any perception. They're not seeing anything except for what they want to see at this time. Yeah, you know, and so they're making a cha the chapter close to the relationship because they're not willing to support what you're looking at. They're not willing to support your dreams, your decisions, or or even coming back together to fill the, the cup of love. Um, so having these decisions to make, um, let's just clarify on the decisions and the daydreams, you know? It's like, I'm over here, I'm trying to fix this. I'm trying to decide on how to do things. Yeah, it's causing more anxiety the more you even decide to do so. So it's like Spirit is saying, try to take yourself out of the cage. Try not to think of the toxicities while you're doing that. You know, try to use the self-love and the things that you desire and love and try to just think about that. That way you can move passionately towards the things that you love instead of always having to yeah, either try to get them to see it your way because they're just not seeing it your way. Um, so there could be this thing where you're trying to continue to manifest and take action towards the things and making these decisions. You're just going to have to keep the faith and the belief of what you want. And go after the relationship that maybe is more passionate for you. Moving on. Letting go.
You know, if you want a different relationship that wants love and passion and all of this, you're going to have to let go and move on. Um, yeah, well, here we go. With the master over here, the devil card upside down again. And here's the devil over here upside down. This is telling you, you know, mind over matter, you know, mind over heart, going after the things you really love, letting go of all these worries and all these things that are going on within this relationship. It's not getting you any satisfactions to hold on to these things. And it's keeping you stuck. You're not going to be able to make the decisions that you need um, to move forward if you don't let go of the toxicity. So Spirit says it really is good because it's just wasting your energy. And in the near future, it's going to continue to drain you. It's not going to bring you any happiness and joy. You're just not seeing it their, your way. They're running around. Some of them are running around like they're single. Not giving you the attention that you really need. They, they worry more about themselves. Um, and now it seems like in the near future, now it's time for you, you know, to start just traveling for yourself and start worrying about your own self. It could be a self-sacrifice that you might have to take in the near future. But at least you've learned something from this situation. You've learned how to be strong. You're going to learn, um, you know, that, you know, your needs and your decisions and your daydreams are going to be more important to yourself than waiting for this person. Yeah, because it's the perfect timing to just go ahead and start taking care of what you your needs are. Because obviously they're paying more attention to themselves. A very selfish person that you have over here. Either that or they're very busy and they think that they're the only one that maybe has decisions or daydreams. Meaning not giving any attention to yours. Something like this. So, yes, in the near future, just looking for your harmony, and it's the perfect timing to look and see what you need to do. Some of you might even be wanting to go to school to learn a new job, a new career. Maybe they're not on your side, um, but it's time for you to take action and do what you need to do. Beautiful Capricorn card coming in over here saying, yes, it's time for your needs. Do things for yourself. Don't worry about what they're doing, right, because obviously they're just leaving you out in the cold. The angels have to say. And it just looks like in the near future they're going to be doing the same thing that they are right now in the present. Just worrying about whatever they're doing. Yeah, in the near future. There'll be opportunities. There'll be new opportunities at hand. As you just continue to keep doing the things that you're doing. And it's let go. Let go of whatever they're doing. Like it says over here in the near future. Just doing yourself, right? Because they just don't seem like they're on board with you. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye -bye.